Greetings, fellow model railroaders, still no modelers. I came across something about a week and a half ago on a channel, Eagle Valley Model Railroad. Now, this gentleman described how to make chain link fence and HO scale and make a bunch of it real quick. So I used his method and I tweaked it with my own little special touch. But a big shout out and a big thank you to Eagle Valley Model Railroad. Please go check out his channel. I decided to make, you know, one of the sliding chain link fences like this. And all I did was just cut the little cross members here into the wood. Now you only need it maybe, uh, I think mine's about three millimeters deep right here. And you use 18 gauge wire and I use a water soluble uh, solder and a lead free uh, silver based solder and that worked out great for me because I made I pumped out seven of these double quick I mean just one after another I used uh, this rust-oleum metallic finish for not only the post but also for the chain link fence material and it turned out pretty good I'm almost out of wire, so I gotta get some more 18 gauge wire, and then I'll start making fence again. It didn't really didn't take. It took a week and a half to make this much fence. I mean, for me, I'm terrible at soldering, but even I managed to you know stick it together so it worked. You're also gonna need to procure this. This is called tool T U. <coughs> excuse me, T U L L E. You can get it at any uh, fabric store, craft store. Uh, you can get it in any color. I think this is gray or silver or something like that. This is only you get a roll for the, this stuff for I think uh, about ten bucks or so. So this will last the rest of my life and probably pass it down to my kids and they ain't gonna know what to do with it. I did get lucky though when I made this jig. I had a uh, this Ace Hardware yardstick and it's exactly eight feet high so I use that and just scribe down through there and use another tool to mark eight feet in between the post so it's eight feet high eight feet wide and I left some room for the the foot post all the way down here and then uh just soldered it together and I have this metal block with soldering stuff man that's just it's just tough But uh, this is the stuff I used right here. Hopefully you can see it. Lead free silver solder. That's the good stuff. And that water based flux, it, the metal just flows right in there. I had, uh, had to go back a couple of times and resolder some of them. And to, you got to pry them out, so you need a couple of flathead screwdrivers. You can wiggle in there and just pop them up at a time and go right across. I'm going to make another jig. My son's a machinist. He's going to take a piece of laminate and cut this uh, in along with a couple other patterns for fences. And that way, you know, whenever I need a fence, however big, I can just pop this pattern out and solder them up real quick. Ah, darn. 18 gauge wire. That should be pretty easy to come across. Most of the stuff's pretty easy to come across. And Definitely go watch Eagle Valley Model Railroad's video on this fence because he'll show you how to also straighten the wire using a cordless drill. And it worked fantastic. Thank you so much for that idea. My railroad thanks you and I thank you. That's about it for me. I'm out. Oh, one thing I did do is uh, use this 3M product. It's owned by DWAC, or will be, and uh, 45 here will equal 19. Anyway, it's general purpose adhesive. And that's what I use to uh, stick the tool onto this painted copper fencing post. This is the brand of copper wire used. Just uh, Hillman. You can get this stuff anywhere. You get it at your local hardware store or Ace or wherever you go. You can pick up this bare copper wire. Just make sure it's 18 gauge because that's about HO scale. 
And that's what uh, Eagle Valley model, model Railroad said to use, so that's what I used. It worked great. I'm going to experiment some more with this fence. I'm going to use uh, this. This is regular house wire that I stripped some uh, wire down. And I'm going to use these for the big corner post when I do install my fencing and then figure out how to. I may just make new fence anyway for the corner post because I have to solder it in there and I'll just solder one corner on here and one quarter on the other and then just stick it in the layout should be good. We'll see. We have more builds coming. I don't know what I'm going to build next. I have no idea. Kind of out of ideas for building stuff when I steal my because I almost built everything. Got to be something else I can build. I was thinking about a like a, a crusher quarry type deal. I don't know. That'd be pretty interesting. Be a neat build, especially if I can make it work with working conveyors. That's the ultimate goal: working conveyors. I got a few parts for a working conveyor, but I really need to make the rollers. Yeah, this is a project I'll get around to. God willing, I'll get around to that project too. God bless you all. See you all on the other side. Bye.